For those of you who are coming by bus, you want to dig out your sandals and your short pants. It is spring here in Paducah, Kentucky. Flowers are blooming and it's going to be a beautiful week during AQS Quilt Week. We're going to take you on a little tour of all the different things that you can do while you're in town. So pack your bags, we'll see you soon. We're standing here at the foot of Broadway and you'll notice that we have many historic buildings in downtown Paducah. I encourage you to come take a walk down Broadway and while you're doing that, be sure to check out the windows because many of our shops have decorated their windows with quilts and other sewing memorabilia. Paducah has a very rich history and Robert Dafford and his mural team have painted the history of the city of Paducah along our flood wall. You'll find a panel in front of each of the paintings that will describe that historical aspect. It's everything from when Indians lived in the territory to Lewis and Clark stopping through here as they went west. And many of you may not know, but William Clark is the one who laid the plat for the city of Paducah. So here we are at the heart of AQS Quilt Week. It will be in the two-story Carroll Convention Center and in the one-story Schrader Expo Center. On the first floor of the Convention Center, we have vendors and two really special exhibits, quilts by Melissa Sabatka and applique quilts from the collection of Pat and Arlen Christ. Then when you go upstairs, you're going to see the wall quilts in the AQS Quilt Contest. All of the big winners in the wall quilts will be there, as well as miniature quilts are on the second floor. And on the left-hand wall, you'll find the Cherrywood Lion King exhibit and the Kona Color of the Year exhibit in the front of the room. Lots of vendors and beautiful quilts on the second floor, too. Then we'll go to the Expo Center, where you'll have best of show on all of the big winners and the large quilts and vendors all around the perimeter of the room. All right, and so while you're at the show, make sure you sign up for the three big drawings that we're going to have. On the second floor of the convention center, you can sign up for the Janome and Elna sewing machines. We give one sewing machine away every single day of the show. And in the expo center is the grand giveaway where you can win a cruise for two and the Janome sewing machine, tables for your sewing room, and thread and a whole lot more. So don't miss signing up for that. And then when you get over to the Dome Pavilion, you will be able to register for a free room for three nights at the Fall Paducah 2017 show. Make sure you sign up for all three of those drawings. All right, so now let's take a swing around and look at the Dome Pavilion, which has even more quilts and vendors. Now, we have a lot of vendors and more quilts and we also have two really nice exhibits. One is Double Wedding Ring Quilts by Victoria Finley Wolf. And you won't want to miss seeing her quilt that is nine foot tall and 30 feet wide, a very large quilt. And the AQS Showcase from AQS Authors and iQuilt Instructors is also at the pavilion. And there are two ways to get there. We have two shuttles that will run nonstop from the Expo Center back and forth to the pavilion. Or you can use this brand new sidewalk that the city put in to lead us over to the pavilion. And we would just recommend that you try to stay on the sidewalk because large trucks come and go through this fueling station all day long. And we certainly wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. So ride the shuttle or walk. It's only a few, a few minute walk to get over there. They also will have some food over at the pavilion. So if you're over there and need something to drink or a bite to eat, you'll be able to get it right there. All right, we're giving you a visual image of the status of the new Holiday Inn Paducah Riverfront Hotel. As you can see, it is still a construction zone and it will not be available for use during our spring Paducah show. On July 1st, they will begin accepting reservations for fall Paducah 2017 and both of the shows in 2018. So please don't come over and get in the way. This is still very much a construction zone while we're here at the show. And I know like you, we're all anxious to have this hotel completely finished for our use. 
one of the locations where AQS will have vendors and the AQS Hurt book sale is here in the Finkel Building. It's on the corner of Kentucky Avenue and Marine Way. And you can ride the shuttle bus, the free shuttle bus that goes from the AQS shuttle stop. And it will drop you off right across the street from the door to the Finkel Building. So don't miss this. And on Tuesday, they'll be open so that you'll be able to go check out those books to add to your library. 10 till 6 on Tuesday and show hours the rest of the week. Don't miss the Finkel Building. You'll find some good sales. Some of the AQS special events will be happening right here at the Carson Performing Arts Center. On Tuesday evening at 4.30, we'll be starting our awards presentation. And you don't want to miss that because that's when you're going to be the first people who know who the best at show and all of the winners are. And on Friday evening, we will have a night with Ricky Timms. If you've never heard Ricky, every year is a new performance and this will be no different. Friday night from 7 until 9 o'clock, right here at the Carson Center. Here at the National Quilt Museum, we have some phenomenal exhibits for this year's Quilt Week. We're standing in the middle of an exhibit of Pat Durbin's quilts. She's going to have 14 of her most famous and well-known quilts up during Quilt Week. You absolutely don't want to miss that. In addition, next to me on the right is an exhibit of quilts from Jane Sassaman. In the other gallery, we have two exhibits. One of them is the Antique Flying Geese exhibit, which is some quilts that are some historic quilts. And the other half of it are the quilts juried into our new quilts from an old favorite contest this year. On Wednesday the 26th, we will be staying open all night long. For people who come to the show, there's obviously things to do all over town. There's a millions of things because Quilt Week is great all over town. We're going to be open Wednesday the 26th from 8 in the morning, and then we're going to go all the way through until we close on Thursday at 6 o'clock. So if you don't normally get a chance to come see the exhibits, come at 7, 8, 9, 10, even 3 in the morning. And on Thursday night, we have the annual auction to benefit the National Quilt Museum. That's going to happen at the Eisenhower Room over at the Convention Center. It starts at 6 p.m. Get there about 15 minutes early. Get your paddle. Get ready. There's going to be over 70 items that have been donated, including quilts, materials, and a whole lot of other stuff. Make sure you don't miss it. Thursday night, 6 o'clock, National Quilt Museum Benefit Auction and the Eisenhower Room over at the Convention Center. If you want more information about everything going on at the Quilt Museum during the show, go to our website, quiltmuseum.org forward slash quilt week, and we will see you here during Quilt Week. Here we are standing at the doorway of the Paducah School of Art and Design. If you're riding the shuttle bus over here to go into the gallery, the bus will drop you off right at this door. If you're a student taking a class, this is also the entrance you'll use in the morning when you come to class. So if you're gonna drive your car, there's a parking lot right behind the building where you can park. And we have two things going on here. First of all, we have an exhibit in the gallery and it is the SACWA, the Studio Art Quilts Associates Made in Europe exhibit. And you won't wanna miss that. There are quilts from 13 different countries and we're also using their textile lab for hand dyeing classes with Cindy Lobeck. So if you're taking classes, they'll be in the second floor of this building. And so here we are at the doorway of Kitchen's Cafe that's located here at the School of Art and Design. The food in this restaurant is prepared by the culinary students from West Kentucky Community and Technical College. So if you are a student taking a class, or if you want to walk over the three blocks from the pavilion, you could come over here and eat from 11 until 2 each day it is open. While you're here, in addition to seeing the Made in Europe exhibit from Sakwa, I hope you'll take a look at the building. This used to be an industrial building where they provided cabinets for kitchens and bathrooms. And they left a lot of that industrial look and they made it into a beautiful building for our Paducah School of Art and Design. So make sure you stop over here. Here we are at the Robert Cherry Civic Center. For the spring show in April, the Paducah Rotary Club will be sponsoring an antique quilt show and some great vendors here in this facility. And one of the things that you wanna do when you stop here to see the vendors and the quilts is to register because this year they will be having 
a free drawing for one of the quilts in the exhibit. You can get here two ways. There's limited parking in the parking lot next to the building, or there will be several shuttle routes will bring you right here to the Civic Center. So don't miss the Rotary Club of Paducah. They're one of our sanctioned events. And don't forget to register for that free quilt that they're going to give away. The Fantastic Fibers exhibit at the Iser Art Center is another one of our AQS sanctioned events. You'll notice it when you get downtown because there'll be a big red yak sitting outside the front door of the Iser Art Center. The exhibit includes works of all different kinds of fibers. So put this on your list when you come to Quilt Week. See the fantastic fibers at the Yeiser Art Center. We have one more sanctioned event that we haven't talked about, and that's the Paducah Derby, which is a benefit for the Merriman House Domestic Abuse Center here in Paducah. And that will be happening on Saturday at 3 p.m. And while I'm standing here along the river, it won't be here, it will be at the Information Age Park, which is west of town. That's where they'll be dumping the 10,000 ducks into the lake out there at the Information Age Park, and the winners will be drawn from those. So we're standing here in Schultz Park, right here in downtown Paducah. You'll know this is right behind the Quilt Museum. If you come right to the river from the museum, you'll be in Schultz Park. You can see we have a major renovation going on where they've put in a, a tiered level where you can actually picnic and fish right down along the edge of the river. And we also have a new boat dock going in that will be available later in the year. And so while you're here, this is all happening and it's all right behind the new hotel and the convention facilities. So stop down at Schultz Park and take a look at what's happening here in downtown Paducah. So while you're at the show, you can adopt a duck for $5, or you can adopt a quack pack, which is six ducks for $25. And if you adopt a quack pack, Hobbs Bonded Fibers will be giving you a little gift. So when you come to the show, make sure that you stop right inside the atrium of the convention center and adopt a duck for the Merriman House. Hello, I'm Michelle Thompson, registration coordinator for AQS. I coordinate tours and groups for Quilt Week. While you're here, if you have any questions, stop by the AQS Information Center located in the hallway of the Expo. I hope you enjoy everything going on at Quilt Week. See you soon.